Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. This is going to be your monthly tarot forecast for the month of April for all of the signs. Before I get into your spreads, this is a general reading. So if you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, don't waste your time or mine. Just click out of this video, check out the playlist link down below and go find your moon and or rising sign or go find you another free reader to watch on YouTube. It is very simple, okay? Um, Typical four card spread going over the overall energy for you guys for the month of April. Also any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing. And because we are in Aries energy, Cardinal Aries energy, we're going to be looking at what you need to initiate during this month, what you need to light the fire under. And as always, a quick little soul message for you, okay? Before I get into your spread, I do want to shamelessly plug myself. <laughs> I do now have a TikTok channel in which I put up hella short readings. So if you like shorter readings find me on there and it's actually not sunshine haze code it is my name my brand it's aja.a that's a-u-j-h-a dot a-y-e okay um i also have hella videos going up it is a new month so i do have the april pick a card spread up i also am going to stop lying to you guys because i don't have anything going on right now i don't have my neighbors bothering me i don't have my job bothering me as much as they usually do right now so i will be putting up your love readings for all the signs over the next week or so okay um what else do i want you guys to watch we just came off of a libra full moon so check out that video we'll have the aries new moon popping up in the middle of the month and we will also be going back into a retrograde cluster starting off the cluster of retrogrades for the year 2021 at the end of the month i believe starting with pluto so that video will be linked as soon as it does go up okay and those are all the plugs i got for you let's get into your spreads this video is for aquarius aquarius sun aquarius moon and aquarius rising uh, uh, aquarius so let's get right into your messages um, before I get started with your reading, I will tell y'all that this might be a little real for you, might be a little, might have to give you some tough love in this reading. So if you don't like that, click out of my video right now because I don't have time for y'all and your dislikes. <laughs> okay, um, let's get right into it. Your first card is in the position of the overall energy for you and you've got all that glitters. And you guys have heard it before, all that glitters ain't gold, right? And that's kind of the message here for you, Aquarius. What I'm picking up on is that there is something that you desire on a superficial level. I, and I say that because, not because something that you desire is not popping. I, the superficial comes in because there's something that you desire, Aquarius, that is really just not made for you, but you have made up your mind that it is, okay? Whatever that may be, that could be a situation like a relationship that could be a job a, a could be a, some sort of course of action some sort of material item i just i just pick up on you feel like you want this because you feel like this is this would be cool to be involved with or this would look good or the, the status attached to it would really work for you you feel like this is what i want yeah no this is what i want but the all that glitters card here uh, aquarius does tell me that that is just not for you <laughs> okay um keep in mind that all shiny things are not new and all shiny things do not have value sometimes shiny things is just foil and i mean foil comes a dime a dozen you could buy that in the store for a like dollar i think I'm like i don't think i spend more than a dollar on my foil to be completely honest um there is this i don't know there's something here that seems very appealing to you Aquarius and I just feel like you're in a space to where you're kind of trying to put all of your effort towards it put all of your energy towards it and you might be in a space to where you start like you're, you're kind of feeling like uh the work that I'm doing is not giving me the glittery shiny things it's not giving me the sparkles it's not giving me the gold and that's because Aquarius what you're working towards what you're striving to get what you're trying to achieve as far as you are concerned on a realistic level it's not gold it's not glittery glittery it's not shiny it's foil okay 
is spoiling. It's not something that you even need to be putting your, your effort your efforts into. There's also this notion, Aquarius, that whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you think you want or you think that you need, you, by way of trying to put yourself in this situation or trying to obtain whatever this little shiny thing is, you're you're donning some sort of mask. You're donning some sort of facade. And let me be the first to tell you, Aquarius, anytime you put an a fake version of yourself out there or you put work out there that's not genuine or you put you know your name to something that you didn't really invest in that you didn't really have nothing to do with that you didn't really take the time to research and, and bring together and pull together to present as as yours anytime you do that and we just gonna keep it anytime you do fraudulent shit it doesn't work out for you it don't work out for nobody but i'm gonna just keep it very i, I get fraudulent vibes <laughs> i get that aquarius and i don't know if it's if it's intentional like if you're like this is going to and listen we can keep it real air signs are known for this you guys can be very manipulative with your thoughts and with the way that you communicate when it's something that you want and it's not playing out in the way that you want it to so i get the sense that aquarius you may have during the month of April, you might be in a space to where you're putting energy out there, you're putting some words out there that are not necessarily true. They may not necessarily really resonate with who you truly are. They may not have anything to do with what you truly do. You may have pushed forward a project that you didn't take no time to, to research. You didn't take no time to work on. You have no idea what you're talking about. I just get the sense that there's something that you didn't put all of the effort that was needed into it. And this is the reason, because you wasn't supposed to be putting effort into it in the first place. You're trying to get to that end goal, which is all that glitters to you. You think it's gold, but like I said, it's foil. So whatever effort you're putting in is going to fall by the wayside because you're not putting effort into something authentic. And so with that being said, also this card has seven energy with it. You've got 16, which breaks down into seven. And that's all about truth. Okay, and all about philosophy. So what I get is during the month of April, Aquarius, you might have a little epiphany, you might have a little realization that the way that you've been moving is not the way that you need to move. And I will go so far as to saying, you know, I keep it very real, you guys might get knocked off your pedestals at some point during the month. And I, you know, I don't like I don't like the readings to go like this, but I keep it very real. So at least you'll be prepared. And listen, everybody works with free will and at any point in time, timelines can shift, things can change. So if I'm saying this to you now, you're still here in this video listening to me and you have an idea of what I'm talking about, Aquarius, start taking the time now to correct your course of action. Start taking the time now to be honest with yourself and with whoever or whatever is involved in the situation. Start taking the time now to kind of correct your, I don't want to say wrongdoings because I, I, I really don't pick up on that. You've been doing the shit intentionally. I just get that the way you've been moving hasn't been completely genuine and it's on some innovative Aquarius type of thing. It's like on some like, okay, well, that didn't work over here. So let me try this this way, but I'm going to keep it real cute and under the surface because let me just see if this works. And the thing, it's not going to work. Because like I said, you're going towards foil. It's not gold that you're going for. It's, it's foil, spray painted, gold spray, spray painted foil. Do not ask me why I just have, <laughs> I just have that on the side. Uh, I do a lot of painting. That All of my paint is right over here. <laughs> so, um, Aquarius, I think it's important for you to understand that during this month, whatever seems shiny and glittery to you is a facade. It is foil. You gonna get there, and you gonna be mad that you even put all that work in, and that you even had to go through all them twists and turns, and tell all them lies, and come up with all these stories to get yourself to this space and place. Because all of that energy is not going to be worth it. Because if you get to this point, you're gonna realize, like I said, that it's spray painted foil, and you're gonna be like, well, well, I I could have did something different. I could have been doing so. I could have been putting my energy towards something else. And that is really what's what's coming up for you in the spread. Aquarius, during the month of April, you need to shift your focus into what it is that you actually need to be working on. What it is that you truly resonate with. All right.
The next card that I have in your spread, Aquarius, is in the position of the crossing energy, any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing during the month of April. And you've got the Three of Pentacles cross. And so this is a card of mediocrity when it pops up in a reverse position. This is also a card of feeling like the work that you're doing is going unrecognized. So I get with this card, especially going back to all that glitters, I get that again. Aquarius, there's something that you, you think you want. There's something that you think is the, the end all be all for you. And every little step, every little step I take, every little step that you take towards it, you're like, this, I'm making big strides, but ain't nothing happening. Why is it not happening? I'm putting in all this time. I'm putting in all this effort. This is a Pentacles card. So this actually does point to work, Aquarius. I actually, with this now reading this card, I, I do sense that you have actually been making moves and doing work probably spending money spending time spending effort on something that's that's gold spray painted foil and that's not cute <laughs> that's not cute y'all it's not like why i am i like and maybe it's because i'm your neighbor and sign rising sign. I'm, I'm a rising capricorn i don't like stuff that doesn't make sense so if you keep doing work and you're not seeing a return and you're not seeing any progress and you're actually you actually keep getting set back to me i'm like well make it make sense because it doesn't what are you doing why are you still doing that aquarius you've got to get real with yourself you guys are smart people you're an air sign air signs are known for their smarts for their intellectual abilities get it together up in that little brain of yours okay think about what you're doing, how you're moving, and if the work that you're doing is even beneficial to the goal that you think you have set for yourself. And if you're realizing that all of this work, all of this energy is just putting you into spaces that are taking you right back to square one, you got to stop and think, well, why do I keep getting kicked back to square one? Is it because I'm going down the wrong path? Is it because I'm putting in the wrong type of work, the wrong type of energy? Or is it because that is not the path that I'm supposed to be going down? I just... Aquarius, I just get, and when I get stressed out in readings like this, it's because you already know. When I get the feeling that uh, I want to fuss at you guys, it's because this is something that you've either been told before or that you've already realized yourself. Aquarius, I, and like I said, y'all are smart. I'm going to go so far as to say that you already know that this is gold spray paint and foil. You already know, but for whatever reason, you like, but it looks good. Okay. That's nice, but you could work towards some real gold as opposed to gold spray painted foil. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So turn this card into an upright position. And with this three of pentacles coming into an upright position, that puts you in a space to do work that makes sense. Okay, that puts you in a space to manifest an outcome that's real. That is not gold spray painted foil. That is not fake and fraudulent that is not something that you don't belong in not something that you shouldn't be doing turn your three of pentacles into an upright position to put you on the path of doing the work and putting out the energy that's going to bring you into the spaces that you're actually supposed to be in just because what you thought was shiny and glittery and gold over here doesn't work out for you or it won't work out for you doesn't mean that there actually isn't real gold over there at the other end of the rainbow listen you just you you working towards the wrong end of the rainbow is what i'm picking up with your spread <laughs> you know how they say there's a little leprechaun with a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow yo when i was little i used to be like yo can we please drive to the end of the rainbow like there's got to be a way but then when you think about it it's like okay well if there's gold at the end of the rainbow on the other end that must be fool's gold and while fool's gold is cute pyrite is cute that's what they call fools go while it's cute while it does have good properties while it does serve you for for a spell why don't you work towards the other end of the rainbow why don't you drive towards the other pot of gold the real pot of gold on the other side because that is where the glitter and the shiny stuff really is where you go into now is is just like this might last you for a moment or it might not even come into fruition because that's not what's supposed to be coming into fruition. You have work to do, but you need to be putting your best foot forward and actually going down the path that is meant for you as opposed to the path that you think you want. Because let me tell you something, between fool's gold and real gold, whether or not it looks popping and lit over here like Atlanta and Miami, over on this end, this is international. 
baby okay this is some new shit that you ain't ever like we know what's popping in atlanta and miami on the other end of the rainbow it's like ooh, let me go discover it was better stuff over here let me see what this is about you need to go towards the real gold the real pot of gold all that glitters ain't gold stay away from the fools going on this side put your effort and your best foot forward towards what's real and what's authentic next card that i have in your spread is the page of wands and the pages carry the energy of a suit so this is the fire suit it's a wand suit it's a fire element and so listen this is baby initiative aries energy and that's what this card is coming up in the position of anyways this is where you need to tap into some of that aries cardinal energy and really get things going and when i see the page of wands I see a, a message of needing to figure out where you need to devote your energy and then striving or striding along, taking your strides down that path, okay? So, and there's also, there's also a message of carrying information with this particular um, card. And yes, the, I, I, I consider the Knights more the cards that bring in the messages and the opportunities, but the Page of Wands kind of prepares the messages and the opportunities so aquarius what i get with the page of wands coming up for you what you need to initiate during the month of april is that you need to initiate a new course of action i just like i said i will keep it very real i feel like what you've been doing does not work i feel like what you've been doing is actually not even <laughs> i don't look i'm not trying to be mean to y'all but it's not even real if that makes sense like you've just been toiling and 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 going through the trials and tribulations and going through the motions for no reason because like i said you've been working towards fool's gold you need to decide a new course of action and you need to figure out where you're going to take this little staff where you're going to walk down with this little wand and what, what you really going towards because it's not the fool's gold and listen aquarius you're going to do what you want all right y'all grown you're going to do exactly what you want and if you decide not to heed this advice you're going to get to that foil and that fool's gold and you're going to be like well damn well, I should have listened. <laughs> I should have actually taken the advice that was given to me at this point in time about this thing over here. But now I'm here and what do I do? And what you don't want to do is be in a position to where, especially because at the end of April, we're going to really kick into these retrogrades or start up the cluster. You do not want to be in, on the wrong side of your rainbow when we go into all this swirly, reflect and correct energy. Okay, you want to be on the path that you need to go on that way instead of being swirled back and around and tossed and stuck in one space that you're not supposed to be in. You might just come to some bumps in the road on the path that you are supposed to be in. And with bumps, y'all are air. Y'all can hop over that. You, you feel me? Bumps in the road shouldn't be nothing to you, especially with your innovative energy. I just get that for the month of April, Aquarius. It is important for you to rework your course of action. And while you're reworking your course of action, you need to reconsider what gold really is to you, if that makes sense. What really is the prize? What's really the end goal? And then I would also say go far as to figure out and, and do some reflection on why you thought the fool's gold was really where it was at. What about that seemed appealing? And if even if, if you can, if that little aspect is something you can apply to the real gold, Go on and start manifesting that. Go on and start speaking that into existence. Y'all are air. Y'all have that manifestation. Sorry, I'm, about, I'm not about to get that word out. You guys have very, very high power when it comes to speaking things into existence. So Aquarius, do me a favor. And everybody around y'all, because y'all know, y'all know y'all gonna be getting on people's nerves. <laughs> do me a favor and really take some time to think about what's real and what's authentic for you and what's really going to benefit you in the future and then put your best foot forward and go towards that end of the rainbow last card that i have in your spread aquarius is in the position of the soul message and you've got divinity and with the divinity card i'm just going to keep it very very cute pay attention to the signs pay attention to the messages pay attention to the things that are coming in for you because they're they're going to be like little breadcrumbs they're going to be like little clues for you is what i get um, especially when you kind of have to uproot 
your plans and your courses of action because like I said you guys are moving towards some spray painted foil and at some point in April you're going to realize that that's gold spray painted foil and so at that point you're going to have to uproot yourself switch everything up and start heading in a different direction pay attention to what is being shown to you during this month pay attention to to phrases or, or things that pop up in conversation that seem misplaced because more often than not, that spirit trying to show you or tell you something about the journey that you need to be taking. Pay attention to your number messages. Look up your angel numbers. Pay attention to what comes to you in your meditations and what comes to you in your dreams. There is a lot that's going to be swirling around for you this month, especially because, you know, we still have two major planets, the planet of growth and expansion, Jupiter and the planet of karma and foundations and all of that so i don't even want to get into that because my saturn's in aquarius which means i'm in my saturn return but anyways saturn is in yo y'all sign too and i don't know what else is up there but like you got two major influences in your planet i mean in your sign right now and so there might be a little bit of confusion there might be a little bit of oh no what is this i feel tossed and lost in the sauce but understand that everything popping up for you is a message that you need to try and decipher because there's clues, there's breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, or maybe Lucky Charms, because Lucky Charms got rainbows and pots of gold on the box. So maybe it's some Lucky Charms for you from spirit, from the universe, from God, from your ancestors, from your angels, whatever it is that you believe, and I believe in all of that. So just pay attention to the things that are coming in for you. And if you can take some time to meditate or get in tune with spirit or do some rituals that can bring forth some of that information, Definitely do so because there is something there for you, something that's going to put you on the right path and move you away from the fool's gold and send you towards the real pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow. And that is your reading. I hope that it found you well. Um, if you want to book your own personal reading, you can do so with me through my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. Just go there and then click on the little drop down and click tarot. That's where all of my spreads are listed. If you don't see a spread on there that resonates with you or you don't see something that you feel like fits what you're looking for, feel free to shoot me a message on Etsy or any of my socials for Sunshine Haze Co. And they're all at Sunshine Haze Co. That's all one word. And hit me up and we can we can get something rocking and rolling for you, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy April. Happy birthday to all the Aries. Welcome to the world, Annie. Happy birthday to my best friend, Sam. Um, happy birthday to what other Aries? do I know I don't know those are like the most important Aries in my life so that's all I got for you but happy birthday to the rest of y'all rest of y'all Aries even though y'all are the most wild sign that I have ever encountered I still love y'all because I love me some cardinal signs apparently all right you guys thank you for tuning in I will catch y'all next time peace